with COVID shortening the season and the schedule being tinker with Steve, do you think the NBA will make permanent changes to the season schedule? No, I don't think so. I think the length of games will go back to normal. I do think they might have a mid-season tournament. There's That's been talk of that, but so far, I think the games will reduce just because of COVID. It should go back to normal. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Three-pointer, Graham. Derek Favors with the rebound. Here is Ellington. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. Will be the pass to Ellington. Lock at six. Fires for three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And something you have to appreciate about MP. He will go out of his way to spend time with the fans. Well, you've seen it. I've seen it. It's something, Greg, that makes the NBA a special league. MP has the adoration of men. Good to see him giving back to the fans. I love it. Here is Ellington. Zion Williamson making his last shot. Outside, Dort. Ellington, the best of favorites. MP looking around. And Derek Favors with the slam. Watch out. When Favors gets loose around the rim, he can pound it. Nice move. And it's Graham missing. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Ellington, the pass to Roby. Roby off the pick from Ellington. Here he goes. To the middle. Roby can't hit. I'll tell you what. I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And it's Ingram missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. MP against Ingram. Dort kicks to Ellington. Hands it from downtown. Ellington shot six. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. And, and Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. It was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off the points at the line. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Graham with the bucket. Staying unselfish, keeping your eyes up. So important for a young player. Zion, mature beyond his years. Now, here's Ellington. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. To the inside. And MP throws it down. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. They swipe it. And here we go. Williamson heading to the hoop. Finish off the break. This is where Zion's most dangerous. Out in the open floor, getting set up for the finish. For three, Ellington. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Looking at Oklahoma City, they want to turn it around after the loss to Dallas. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. You know what happens, you start to miss a few. You develop a lack of confidence, and suddenly it becomes contagious. And the Pelicans with possession here. The Thunder making the shot. Here's Ingram. Nice defense from Dort. Oklahoma City leading by five. MP way outside. Quick shot there, and it's off target. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. Now, here's Ellington. 
Zion Williamson unable to get his last shot to go. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. Dex checked in for Roby. Josh Hart, he's checked in for New Orleans. Sadoransky comes in for Devontae Graham. Now, here's Sadoransky. Last game he had 12. He feeds it to Williamson. Pass to Hart. Kicks it to Valanciunas. Williamson with a screen for Sadoransky. That one drops for him. Even against contact, Sadoransky stays agile and just plays right through it. Sadoransky against MP. It's Dort on the wing. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Driving to the basket. They get the rebound. In the corner, it's Valanchunas. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Nice play to run for Valanchunas in terms of variety. Getting him something in rhythm and in space. Here's Favors. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Favors has got his third basket of the night right there. Now, here's Sadoransky. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a bad seat for that time. Wow! It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! -wee. Sadoransky finds Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. With good size, vision, and ability to pass the ball, Sadoransky can make some sweet dishes. The try by MP. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like that. Time out, pass to the third game. All right, They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. New Orleans making some changes here. Ernie Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Jackson Hayes comes in for Zion Williamson. Checking into the Pelicans. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Alexander Walker and Ingram share wing duty. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. And it's Graham in a point guard. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Mavericks was all business. He scored 54 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios call for different measures. I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Graham finds Ingram. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Ingram's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Ellington, the pass to Favors. The shot, no good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Their last encounter was in New Orleans. Fought extremely hard to win that game. They were exhausted, you could tell. But you could see what that win meant to them at the end of overtime. Ellington, the pass to Roby. Back to Ellington. A three-pointer, no good. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Zion and that one's good, Williamson. Zion just overwhelms the competition. Unstoppable here. Now a lot of teams are going. Minutes year after year. Efficient scoring and a presence on the glass. He's able to punish teams inside if they want to play small ball. 
Graham, the pass to Ingram. Back to Graham. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Williams and dishes to Graham. Alan Junis with a screen on MP. Kept alive. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Dallin Junis. The persistence of Dallin Junis paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. It's Dort on the wing. Three-pointer Ellington. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Here's Williamson. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Graham against MP. Graham kicks to Ingram. Williamson with a screen for Ingram. Shoots over towards. Yep, it goes. And the and Oklahoma Ingram. City lead has cut to just seven on the basket from Ingram. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And here is Graham. 23 points for him the last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. No good from Valanciunas. Oklahoma City leading by seven. Here's Dort, and then jammed down as he goes right over Zion Williamson. Oh, wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. Inside, Ingram with the steal. To the right side. There's the triple. Here's Graham. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Now just a five-point Oklahoma City lead. Over in the corner, Dort. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. New Orleans has gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. It's deflected, and he recovers it. He hits it for Derek Favors. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Marshall comes in for Ingram. Hard, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. And Sedaransky subbed in for Devontae Green. Shot clock at six. Hart, that's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Ellington, the pass to Baisley. Kicks it out to MP. To the paint. The shot by Baisley, no good. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Trailing by two. The last game, a win against San Antonio. Looking to carry that into this one. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. That's and the foul call on MP. Second team. That's foul number two for him. New Orleans making a switch here. Herning Gomez is checked in. Here's Hart. 11 points for him in that last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? A one-on-one -on -one guy or, or a constant movement type of player? Uh, oh, 
I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job you can have defensively. And stolen by Ellington. Yeah, clearly he I'm had established. That's his first personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for the Pelicans. Najee Marshall. 28%. Two shots. Marshall hits them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Down low. Here's Deck. Here's Giddy. Good in the assist goes to MP. Ellington's got his seventh assist in the game. MP against Shadaransky. There's the screen. To the wing on the left. Fires from deep. Hart, no good. Oh man, you know he'd love to have that one over. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. MP against Shadaransky. Ellington, the pass to Pakushevsky. Shot clock at five. Passes it to Sadaransky. Takes it inside, and he finishes nicely on the way. Sadaransky's got nine points. Good drive. For a big point guard, Sadaransky has a surprisingly quick first step. And some good action through the first two quarters. North Thunder, 57. The Pelicans, 53. Look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for Oklahoma City right now, sliding into the wing spots, Gilgis Alexander and Dort. Then there's Favors. Then it's MP. And it's Roby in at the power forward position. <laughs> Two free throws Under coming. Who gets good? That's his first personal foul. First team foul. No, he's going to shoot it. He, he has no hesitation letting it fly. I mean, he's a solid three-point shooter who believes he can make any shot. About two-thirds of his shots all come from outside. So you know exactly what you're getting with him. Back to Ellington. Hits it from three-point range. Ellington's got five points now in the quarter. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Gilgis Alexander finds Ellington. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Ingram wide open. The three-pointer off the mark. The Thunder leading by seven. Pass to Dort. Back to Ellington. Dort passes to Roby. Off target from three-point range. New Orleans has gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Loads it up for Williamson. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. This is why Williamson's teammates love him. He makes them look good on these alley-oops. Favors with a screen on Graham. Ellington the pass to Favors. And Derek Favors with the slam. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Here's Graham. Favors with the rebound. Favors has got six rebounds here tonight. Ellington kicks to Dort. Back to Ellington. Jacks up a three, and the three ball is good. And now a 10-point Thunder lead. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused. Isaiah Roby. 
That's his first personal foul. Second three foul. Pelican substitution. The scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. Excellent take. Too strong, MP. That's his fourth personal foul. The Thunder have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Roby, he's checked in for Jack. Pelicans trail by 19. Now Graham. He's got 13. And Sadaransky wide open. He fires. No good on the triple. MP against Graham for three Ellington. It's rebounded by Hayes. 50 seconds left in the third. The shot by Shadaransky, no good. The Thunder leading by 19 points. There's the pass to Ellington. Trains it from behind the arc. Ellington's got 41. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. Graham gets a wide open look. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Tries to keep it alive. And throw the ball's out of bounds. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you tried to get it to your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Oh, man, that's it's Devontae close, Graham. but you know. that's his first personal effect on that. For Oklahoma City, they have shot nine of eleven at the free throw line. But yeah, really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about seventy-six percent. Off the run. Doesn't go for him. The three quarters. The end of the third quarter is the score. And ladies and gentlemen, your Thunder Girls. 2K Sports from OKC Arena. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So for New Orleans right now, they've got Jackson Hayes. Number five. That's his third personal foul. First two foul. At the line for the Feet tall. He is a real problem for the defenses. Zion Williamson's checked in for Jackson Hayes. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. With some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case. And, and really, the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor. And maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Back to Ellington. And Fowler can foul. Tends at the line. Sadaransky. That's his that free throw missing. Alexander First Walker, he's foul. checked in for the Pelicans. At and the second free throw, good. Here's Hart. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Williamson. Ingram outside. Six on the shot clock. Alexander Walker off target with his three. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's Roby, covered by Williamson. And stolen by Williamson. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Ingram finds Williamson. 
And the Pelicans miss again. Oklahoma City shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Ellington, the pass to Fabers. Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Hart. That three off the mark. Thunder have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Back to Ellington. Favors with the screen. Ellington kicks to Favors. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Alan Junis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Hard bounce pass. Here's Alexander Walker. Ellington defending. Six to shoot. Ingram passes to Alexander Walker. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Pass to Ellington from outside the arc. And again, Oklahoma City. No good. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Alan Shumis. Count the bucket. And Isaiah Rose. Checking in for the Pelicans. And now back to the Thunder. Ladies and gentlemen, your Thunder Girls. Pelican substitution. Jonas There's the pick. Gilgis Alexander passes to Ellington. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Ellington. To the paint. Shot clock at six. Offensive rebound. Pelicans trail by 19. Graham with the ball. Passes it to Alexander Walker. Here's Graham. New Orleans moving the ball around. Gilgis Alexander passes to Ellington. To the inside. And Favors kicks to Ellington. Back to Favors. MP outside. Favors with the screen. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Thunder. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question, that's a morale booster. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for MP. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. Back to Ellington. They set the pick to the middle. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. MP fires from way outside. And a slam dunk by Favors. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 13 rebounds. An uh, impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. So no problem for all. Andrew, I know you got something interesting for me. What's up? You were really finding the open man tonight. Was that because the defense was keying in on you?
Look, it's a pick your poison with this team, AT. They try to stop me. We got a bunch of guys who can step up. It seemed like you were more focused on setting up your teammates than scoring yourself. Always. You know, that's my mindset. I'm trying to elevate my teammates so we can win. That means getting everybody open looks. I'm a playmaker first and foremost, bro. Terrific playmaking tonight. Great game. Thank you, Andrew. Let's go with John next. Wow, what an awe-inspiring performance tonight, MP. What was the key to your success out there? Man, John, we focused on the little things, the fundamentals. We executed the game plan, and we played with effort and focus throughout. So it was a great W tonight. I'm, I'm proud of our guys. Now, were my eyes deceiving me? Because Coach looked like he cracked a smile a few times during this one. What did he like about your performance? Man, that we were communicating, really talking on D, and that's something we've been working on a lot in practice lately. So I'm sure he was just glad to see it. Just a, just a lot of unselfish play in general. People looking to make an extra pass, give up a good shot for a great shot. You know, all that stuff that a well, you know, a well-coached team does. Whoa.